हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू येट अनदर सेशन ऑफ मास्टर मीन्स पी वाई क्यू बाई नेक्स्ट आई एस टूडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक पोर्शन ऑफ यूर जी एस थ्री पेपर सी एस सी मेन्स एग्जामिनेशन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री सो क्वेश्चन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टूडे इज क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन ऑफ यूर जी एस पेपर थ्री द क्वेश्चन इज द एडोप्शन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स इज रेपिडली ग्रोइंग वर्ल्ड वाइड हाउ डू इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट टू रिड्यूसिंग कार्बन एमिशन एंड वट आर द की बेनिफिट्स दे ओफर कंपेयर टू ट्रेडिशनल कंबक्शन इंजन व्हीकल्स सो दिस इज अ फिफ्टीन मार्क यू नीड टू राइट इट डाउन इन टू फिफ्टी वर्ड्स द सिलेबस पोर्शन विच इट कवर्स इज डेवलपिंग न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी ऑफ यूर सिलेबस जी एस पेपर थ्री सिलेबस नाउ इफ यू स्टार्ट विद द क्वेश्चन मेजरली द क्वेश्चन पार्ट हेयर आर हाउ डू इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट टू रिड्यूसिंग कार्बन एमिशन दिस इज फॉर वन पार्ट अनदर पार्ट इज की बेनिफिट्स ओवर द ट्रेडिशनल कंबक्शन इंजन I hope you have already read this question and submitted it for evaluation. Now, if we start with the question in the intro part. In the intro part, we can write about data of International Energy Agency, which has released some data related to electric vehicles. Which is you can write either of these three. The first is fourteen million sale. Fourteen million sales of electric vehicle is recorded. or it will be recorded by end of 2023 so this is the first thing which international Agen energy agency has given second thing is this increase in sale of electric vehicle if we compare it with through previous year that is increase of 35% all right 35% increase if comparison is made with previous year all right and the next thing is the new cars which were sold 18% of those new newer sold cars were electric so these are some basic data facts which you can use in introduction part of your question now if you see the first statement of the question it is adoption of electric vehicle is rapidly growing worldwide it is not asked as a question but you can address you can give some facts related to this line also like why adoption of electric vehicles have increased so in this why you can write about some points some brief points like consumer consciousness about environment people are thinking environment friendly nowadays climate change and global warming are nowadays discussion topics of discussion in normal public also so they are switching to electric vehicles you can say in a, that manner that they are adopting the environment friendly technologies second part which you can write is charging stations when electric vehicles were introduced initially that time charging stations were not in a good number you can say but now in india itself these have grown to almost 900 plus stations Uh, along the length and breadth of india so because of availability of charging stations people are switching to electric vehicle next part is usage electric vehicles are easier to drive no gears are used so it is friendly to consumer in a driving method if you can say next is government initiatives in india particular if you can say and worldwide also in incentives are given by governments for adoption of electric vehicle in india itself tax rebates are there no permits are required for electric vehicles so these are some broad reasons because of which people are switching to adoption of electric vehicles so here we have addressed the first part the adoption of electric vehicles is rapidly growing worldwide don't spend too much time and words on this line because it is not asked as a particular question now we will move to the next part how do electric vehicles contribute to reducing carbon emission so here we need to cover contribution of electric vehicles in reducing carbon emissions so there are various factors through which we can cover it first is renewables in traditional vehicles diesel and petrol vehicles non renewables are used fuel is non renewable but in electric vehicle batteries are used which are charged through renewable source of energy like solar power and wind power so here the energy source is renewable so here is shifting to the renewables and that's why emission of carbon is lesser all right so shifting to renewables is a reason second thing is emissions if you see emissions of carbon from electric vehicle 
एंड द डीजल और पेट्रोल व्हीकल यू कैन से देन इन डीजल एंड पेट्रोल व्हीकल द द एमिशन ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इज टू फिफ्टी एट ग्राम ऑफ सीओ टू पर ग्राम ऑफ सीओ टू पर किलोमीटर ऑल राइट टू फिफ्टी एट ग्राम ऑफ सीओ टू पर किलोमीटर दिस फैक्ट यू कैन मेमोराइज बिकॉज इट कैन बी यूज अगेन इन द एग्जामिनेशन द फ्यूचर ईयर ऑल्सो द सच काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन माइट कम सो हेयर कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड अमिशन इज टू फिफ्टी एट ग्राम्स एंड बट इन ई वी इट इज वन ट्वेंटी एट ग्राम्स सीओ टू पर किलोमीटर विच इज मच लेसर ऑल राइट सो दिस अमिशन इज लेस एंड हंस इट इज हेल्पफुल इन रिड्यूसिंग द एमिशन ऑफ कार्बन कार्बन यू कैन से ऑल राइट एंड द नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज दिस अ टर्म वेल टू व्हील एमिशंस दिस इज द एमिशंस ऑफ कार्बन यू कैन से और ग्रीन हाउस गैसेज यू कैन से विच इज फ्रॉम द वेल दैट इज सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी टू व्हील दैट इज प्रोडक्शन ऑफ अ कार एंड यूसेज ऑफ अ कार सो ड्यूरिंग दिस होल लाइफ टाइम ऑफ द व्हीकल ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल यू कैन से दिस अमिशंस आर वेरी लेस एज कंपेयर टू द एमिशंस बाय डीजल एंड पेट्रोल व्हीकल्स सो दिस कंपेरिजन कैन बी मेड नेक्स्ट इज टेल पाइप एमिशन टेल पाइप एमिशन इज ऑलमोस्ट नेग्लिजिबल इन इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल वाइल इट इज मच इन डीजल एंड पेट्रोल व्हीकल सो हेयर द कार्बन एमिशन इज लोअर इन इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल थ्रू टेल पाइप एमिशन ऑल्सो नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज ऑपरेशनल एफिशियंसी वट इज ऑपरेशनल एफिशियंसी सी एनर्जी प्रोडक्शन इन डीजल एंड पेट्रोल व्हीकल दैट एनर्जी प्रोड्यूस्ड एंड द पोर्शन ऑफ दैट एनर्जी विच इज यूज टू रन अ व्हीकल that is lesser for example i'll i'll tell you that energy produced by a diesel or petrol vehicle and an ev here the energy produced in diesel and petrol vehicle almost you can say 17 to 20% of that energy only 17 to 20% of that energy is utilized for movement of the vehicle all right but here in ev it is almost 60 percent so here the efficiency is more and when the efficiency is more the carbon footprint will obviously will obviously be less all right so this is operational efficiency of electric vehicle over diesel and petrol vehicle next thing is energy grid as i have already told you the energy used in you can say running of electric vehicle is renewable by in diesel and petrol it is non renewable and the energy grid which is maintained for electric vehicle it is also of renewables so here automatically the carbon footprint the carbon emission will be lower so through these points you can cover how the electric vehicles are contributing to decreased carbon emission all right now we will go to the next part of the question what are the key benefits they offer compared to traditional combustion engine vehicles that is our diesel petrol vehicles i'll tell you the basic phenomena on which ice works basically there is a mixture of air and fuel all right now combustion burning you can say of this air fuel mixture happens and because of which thermal energy is produced all right now this thermal energy is used for movement of the vehicle all right so this is the basic phenomena here air fuel mixture is there and combustion of this mixture is happening all right but in electric vehicle battery is used and battery is used to operate to move the vehicle now we need to cover benefits of electric vehicle benefits of electric vehicle over ic all right we will cover we will try to cover it through various points like first is emission emission as we have already discussed in the first part of the question emission of carbon you can say all right other greenhouse gases you can say that is very less we have already discussed about it so but here you can write it as a point the benefit of electric vehicle over you can say this internal combustion engine vehicles petrol diesel vehicles all right next part is next point you can say is life span life span of electric vehicles is almost 15 to 20 years it is said that sometimes the battery life is more than the life of vehicle itself so 15 20 year of life of a vehicle is too good also in case of diesel and petrol vehicles the age of the life span of the 
कार यू कैन से द वहीकल यू कैन से इज टेन टू फिफ्टीन ईयर्स एंड दैट ऑल्सो नीड्स अ लॉट ऑफ मेंटेनेंस ऑल राइट दिस पॉइंट ऑल्सो वी विल कवर द मेंटेनेंस रिक्वायरमेंट मेंटेनेंस रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक वहीकल इज लेसर देन पेट्रोल एंड डीजल वहीकल्स बिकॉज रिन्यूअल फ्यूल इज देयर डीजल गैसोलिन इज देयर ऑल राइट एंड दीज दीज फ्यूल्स दे नीड मोर मेंटेनेंस मोर सर्विसिंग टाइम टू टाइम बट इन इलेक्ट्रिक वहीकल दैट टाइप ऑफ रिक्वायरमेंट्स आर नॉट दैर ऑल राइट सो मेंटेनेंस कॉस्ट ऑल्सो यू कैन से or running cost that is lesser all right so next part we can write here is environment friendly obviously it is environment friendly all right because environment friendly you can make this point the fuel is cleaner all right the efficiency is more all right emissions are less carbon emission if you can say through tail pipe it's negligible or total carbon emission is less greenhouse gas emission is less so it is environment friendly sustainable you can say in the production also production of the whole vehicle the emissions in the lifetime is lesser so it is environmental friendly user friendly also as no gears we have already told in diesel and petrol vehicles in lower range mid range cars you have gears and it is harder for some people to operate with gear guard cars so in electric vehicles gears are not there all right so these type of things so you can write next is noise pollution electric vehicles make almost negligible noise if you have crossed an electric vehicle you might have observed this thing yourself in e rickshaw specifically you can say so sometimes manufacturers intentionally add some false noise so to make the vehicle safer for the pedestrians so noise pollution is also negligible and that is a high comparison with the internal uh, internal combustion engine vehicles like diesel petrol vehicles all right so this is a point next point you can cover is taxation gst is 5% on electric vehicle in india which is lesser than the taxation on uh, diesel and petrol vehicles so gst point you can cover permits you can cover permits are not required to running a electric vehicle interstate you can say so this taxation point is also available worldwide in other countries also lesser taxation or incentives from the government and this make these electric vehicles more adoptable to the general public over the internal combustion engine vehicles like diesel and petrol vehicles so these are the basic benefits of electric vehicle which are making them more famous people are adopting these on a faster way and now we can see uh, e electric vehicles easily available around us okay uh, last year or last to last year they were negligible in numbers but now these are increasing and in coming years it will increase obviously in a faster way so these are the benefits you can cover in the conclusion part you can write about some incentive uh, incentives or say initiatives worldwide also and india also among these these you can use one to two all right uh, from the world point if you can say adoption of electric vehicles will lead to addressing our sdg goal 13 that is about climate change adoption of electric vehicle will definitely address our climate change concerns also there is electric vehicle initiative worldwide that is intergovernmental for the world you can quote these two all right in india very famous fame scheme is there faster adoption and manufacturing of hybrid and electric vehicle also our policy of national electric mobility mission plan it is there you can quote this also also for establishment of charging stations no permits are required so this is also a criteria by the government which has made uh, these charging stations easily available uh, through length and breadth of the country so this point can also be added also there is one more point you can add draft battery swapping policy so 1 2 3 among us these you can write any one or two and from the world perspective also either of these two you can write so in this way you can conclude this answer i hope you had a quality learning session today please write the next question we are going to post at the end of this video and submit it for free evaluation till we meet again keep on revising and if you like the video please share with your friends thank you so much